Hi, I'm Charlie. I want to bring your attention to the details of this new image of Jupiter and its recently discovered aurora. It seems that NASA has failed to adequately notify people of how we are meant to interpret this new discovery. As we can see, Jupiter is now sporting its own personal flurry. While NASA is claiming that the artistic flurry is quote, a vividly captured aurora, it is patently obvious to anyone who has a historical interest in NASA that this so-called aurora has never before appeared in their previous images. In order to understand why this has just appeared, we need to gain some much needed perspective. So let's first take a careful look at the imagery. I want to show you this article posted on the SEN website in May of 2014. This article outlines the then fresh realisation that Jupiter's red spot is shrinking. The article also features one of NASA's recently released images of the brown dwarf taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Now, let's compare this NASA image from April 2014 with this new image from June 30, 2016. I carefully aligned these images to demonstrate that NASA's artist has merely modified the 2014 image to incorporate the new flurry. Now what is important here is that the aurora NASA's scientists speak of does not exist in the visible light spectrum, so one cannot define said flurry as an aurora. Further, the sudden appearance of said aurora can be explained by the fact that NASA's visual artists have simply taken raw data from the far ultraviolet spectrum of light, which is invisible to the human eye, and re-imaged that data into the blue flurry that we see in this image. Take note that the reason why the flurry looks askew is because the axis it was taken from does not match the axis of this image. Here are the details of the 2016 image available on hubblesite.org. What you see at the bottom here are the RGB colour channels of the original 2014 Hubble image and the recent far ultraviolet data. All four channels of data were layered in digital imaging software by Jay Nichols to create the new 2016 image that is causing so much confusion. So what did we learn? There is no visible light aurora on Jupiter, the likes of which we enjoy here on Earth. So if you see any aurora activity in the Juno images, just remember that they are images and not actual photographs. Just like this one with the airbrushed edges to make it look like a sphere. Anyway, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.